Guys, Mark Goldberg here from Mark Vlogs Watches with a quick word for your friend and mine, Archie Luxury, Paul Pluta, AC3, Archibald Chesterfield III. You know, he invented the quick whist watch check, and uh, the rest of us on YouTube, well, we just stole it. Help keep Archie full-time on YouTube by liking this video, watching this video, tell your fuckhead friends, and make sure to subscribe to his Patreon. And now, Archie Luxury. Hi guys, Paul Pluto on the Paul Pluto channel. Today guys, I am doing paid reviews, paid reviews. This is paid review 9N64, it's for Marco. This is for Marco, and before we do that, let's do a quick whist watch check. What am I wearing? A Patek Philippe 5, 5127. This is a Keller Trava automatic with date. I absolutely love this watch. I'm wearing it with Paul Smith cufflinks. Okay, guys, today let's do this paid review for Marco. Dear Archie, I came across your channel a few months ago, and I must confess I'm addicted to your videos now. I find your reviews very entertaining, honest, and clear, and I love to watch one or two of your vids every night. I personally believe you're a very cool... <coughs> you're a very cool guy. Fuck! Thank you. Finally, I decided to send you some cash, which you should have on your PayPal, and get one of your famous paid reviews done for me. Although my collection is very small at the moment, about my passion for watches, it grew only in the last few years. When I was younger, I always liked watches, but couldn't afford anything but shitters. Since one year now, I managed to get to get a Rolex sub, no date, double one, four zero six zero at retail price, not too bad. After a wait list. Of a few months and last summer I bought myself an Amiga Speedmaster man on a fucking moon <laughs> also following the advice that I hear the pontiff gives a lot to other collectors I love my speedy although to be honest I love the submariner more I gotta tell you man speedy and a submariner what a perfect two-piece combo meal deal hunger buster hunger buster the Speedy was also bought new from an AD, but I got 20% off from retail. Other than that, other than those two luxury watches, I have a couple of shitters, like my Beta Cycle Turtle, but I'll spare you. Yes, thank God. I don't want to fucking hear about shitters, man. I'm not fucking interested in fucking dog turds. <laughs> but I'll spare you, as I know you probably don't, you don't care about those. Now my next question. I've been trying and trying to get a Rolex. GMT Master 2 Pepsi new, but I'm com not prepared to pay any premium. Therefore, it's mission impossible, and I'm about to give up on that front. To complete my collection for now, I wanted a watch with a GMT function, and value retention is very important to me as I do not make <clears throat> tons of money. I know the feeling. I know the feeling indeed. I know you're very fond of the Explorer 2 Polar 216570, but I decided to check it out. So I decided to check it out and actually liked it more than I thought. Having said that, also the watch is not available in any shop here in Europe. I live in the Netherlands, although I am Italian, by the way. But my AD at least gave me some hope to get one of these in the next few months. Unlike the Pepsi, that they don't even consider to put my name on the waiting list, as I'm not a big spender. I looked on Chrono24, but buying one secondhand would cost me the same amount as buying one new at retail. Even the previous model, that's the 40 mil, yes, that's the one I had, I had the 40 mil, like the one you used to have is only slightly cheaper. What do you think, Pontiff? Am I making the right decision <clears throat> and wait to get the Polar 2 from an AD sometime next year? As the current model has not changed in a few years, would it be better to wait until Basel World to see if the new model comes out? I will be 45 in April. And I know you adore your Patek Philippe Calatravas. I like them too, by the way, but I cannot justify to spend such a big amount on a dress watch as I never really wear dressy clothes, only casual. Thank you in advance for your kind advice and send you my most sincere best wishes for a very Merry Christmas. Kind regards, Marco. Marco sent this on the 20th of December, man. I'm making it after Christmas, you know. I, I got a bit of family time. I'm going to patch up my disastrous marriage to the... The last wife to try and get onto her money? P.S. I send you a separate email with photos of my sub, my speedy, and also a wrist shot of me trying the Explorer 2 
One day at the AD, although the watch was reserved for another customer, unfortunately. Okay, what do I think? What do I think the answer is? Okay, Marco, th firstly, thank you so much for being a loyal fan. Your kind words. I tell you what, you wonder why the Italians get heaps of bitches to fuck? Because they charm the shit out of you. And even me, I've been sucked in. He said I'm cool. He said this, and he probably smokes those little French horrible cigarettes, and he, he drives an Alfa Romeo. Uh, or a BMW 3 Series, because the Alpha is just four to bits. He's charming. You see, this is why the Italians get the pussy. This is why the Italians get pussy, and the rest of you losers can't, because they charm the shit out of people. See, they're clever guys. They're stylish and clever. Now, i got to tell you, man, fuck me dead. That's a, look, I'm not a rich man either. Believe you me, I can honestly tell you, Marco, my ass is out of my pants more times than not. And I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, man, um, it's, you've got a fantastic, you've bought the right shit. You didn't waste money on, well, you, you, you said you got some shitters, but no date sub, it's iconic. Fuck, you'll never lose your money. It's fucking safe. And then you've got a speedy. Man, the speedy's fucking iconic. Two, two combo meal deals. Now, I gotta be honest with you. Okay, i got to be totally honest with you. Um, I think, seriously, if it was me, Explorer 2, fucking gorgeous. In fact, I actually prefer the Explorer 2. Where I've had Explorer 2 since the... Since... I've had Explorer 2 since, since, since the late 90s, okay? I've always thought it was better than the GMT. When I, when I got mine, they were slightly more than the GMTs, okay? The thing I like about the Explorer 2... You don't have to get the poly. Get the black one. If you like the black, get the black. Actually, in the 42 mil, I like both. I like both. But I, I actually really like the black because it uses the orange hand of the original 1655. That is the original version <coughs> they released in the early 70s. I think 1972 or 1973, they released, <coughs> they released the 1655. Five, which is the, the orange hand Steve McQueen, it's called. Uh, although Steve McQueen apparently never fucking wore one. But anyhow, that's another story for another video. Now, the thing is, I seriously think with your collection, you've got modern pieces. I'd get a 42mm Explorer 2 in a heartbeat. I think it's a better watch than the GMT. Why do I say that? Why do I say that? Why do I say that? I'll tell you why. Because have you ever tried... 20, okay, so, so on, on a GMT or an Explorer 2, it's got a 24-hour hand. The normal hand goes around twice every 20, every 12 hours it goes around. But the 24-hour hand, it goes around once. Guess what? It gets very hard to read and work out time when you're rotating the fucking bezel, okay? Believe you me, it's fucking hard. So I tend to think <clears throat> having the fixed steel bezel, as the Explorer 2 does much better solution most people can't read 24 hour time <clears throat> yet alone work it out with a rotating bezel uh, I honestly think the Explorer 2 is fucking schmicko I love the Explorer 2 I've always loved it uh, I actually owned I owned a 1655 years ago can you believe that I bought it for 3000 and I sold it for 6000 to a dealer in Singapore what a fucking stupid thing I did but that was the price then. <clears throat> I thought I was so clever. I doubled my money in a day. <laughs> what a fucking idiot I was, hey? Seriously, I've got no qualms with getting a Explorer 2. I think they're beautiful. I think they are a very cool watch. And I tell you what, look, I don't earn a lot of money either, okay? I don't earn a lot of money either. I've had to struggle and, and, and you want to retain value. The Explorer 2, you're not going to fucking lose money on that. That's a fucking great watch. That is a great watch indeed. And uh, I, I would 100% pull the fucking trigger. 100% pull the fucking trigger. Just do it. To quote, you know, the Nike ad. You remember Nike? Nike, they used to say, what well, you know, Nike had that ad there. Just do it. Just do it, man. Just do it. Don't fuck around. Just do it. Just do it. And, and there's a bit of truth in that, you know. Don't. Don't fuck around with this shit. Just do it. Just do it. I think you'll love it. I honestly, I honestly, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend it unless I was absolutely fucking in love with it. 
Now, that, Neil, I want to carry on the last bit of this video. I want to talk to you about, you know, you said you, you, you can't travel, you can't jump. Well, just back the truck up. Let's back, let's reverse this, this truck. Now, you said you, you don't want to, you can't get a Calatrava because you don't always wear, you're not wearing dress clothing. Well, let's just have a look at the Pontiff. So, I got a dress shirt on, I got cufflinks, and I got a 5127 on. Take a look at my pants, fuckers! Speedos! These are Speedos. I'm wearing, I'm wearing board shorts. These are Target board shorts as well. They're not even designer. You know something? It doesn't, I got no shoes on. Look, I'm just sitting here on the floor making vids and uh, you don't know something i don't give a fuck the whole point of wearing a patek philippe is i can wear that with whatever the fuck i feel like so don't ever think that oh i can't wear that wear it with whatever the fuck you like i love to wear a patek philippe i love it i love my pateks but you know what i'm about to go for a I'm about to go for a walk. I was going to say jog, but I, I, I don't actually, I don't actually, I don't actually um, like to do that sort of stuff. But I got to tell you, man, seriously, man, seriously, 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 you can wear dress watches with whatever the fuck you like. Okay, whatever. If you want to wear a dress watch in casual attire, go for it. Because I got to tell you. All these watches now, they are dress watches. They are dress watches. Why do I say that? Why do I say that? Because the honest truth is, man, it's my timer there. Look at that. I'm about to go for a walk. This counts my steps. They are dress watches. I'll put my, my Casio on the other wrist. They are dress watches. And that's because, that is because, um... Rolex is so expensive, man. You're not going to take a, a Rolex and do scoop. You know, you're not going to do fucking welding and shit like that. That that stuff, you, you're going to, you know, it's a fucking expensive watch. So all these watches, they're really dress watches, okay? Any analog watch, meaning non-quartz, they're dress watches, okay? So don't be afraid. Patek is beautiful. Let me tell you this, Marco. Don't don't tell anyone else this, but also when you wear Patek, pussy comes to you. The pussies. They come to you. The pussies come to you, okay? They just come, okay? I, I, I can't explain it because the bitches don't understand Paddock or Vacheron. They don't understand it. But when you wear Paddock Philippe, it's the endorphins, the, the pussies just come to you and you can eat as many pussies as you like. Let me tell you that. So they don't tell you that at Rolex boot camp, do they? No, 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 no. Get a Paddock. You can eat as many pussies as you like. Guys, that's the paid review for Marco. That's today. Tell me what you think. Like, subscribe. Tell your fuckhead friends. Put some nasty comments down below. And remember, guys, if you haven't done a paid review, I depend on paid reviews to survive on the tubes. I need the money, guys. Please, please, please do a paid review. Keep me full-time on YouTube because Google Ads, I can't survive on Google Ads. I need... I need assistance. So until next time, ciao fuckers, it's 50 US dollars. Description's down below. PayPal at archieluxury72 at gmail.com. 50 US dollars. I'll do a review. I'll tell you what I think. I'll tell you what stinks. I'll tell you what shit you shouldn't have bought. I'll fucking tell you the truth. I'm Paul Pluto. Tell me what you fuckers think of that. You see those big yellow plants, but in there there's all these azaleas. Yeah. Those yellow ones have grown up, but they'll, they'll die later. And then there's that. It's protecting the event. Merry Christmas. Azalea. Happy New Year. Azalea? No. Uh, oh, that's corner. Yeah, no, no, the whole side, there's about 20 as there. Oh, okay. But you can't see them because those plants have taken over. Yeah. You know? mm. And that's all right, because those plants will die. And there's that. Mm. <laughs> but it's protecting them against the sun. David SW, David SW, David SW, who does Archie Luxury recommend is the greatest grey market dealer in America? There's only one choice, David SW. That's right, guys. I've got to tell you the honest truth. 
I have for a long time been looking for the perfect answer. Who do I recommend people go to see? Who do I recommend that people can go and uh, buy watches? And I've got to be honest with you. The greatest, the greatest pre-owned dealer for Rolex, Patek Philippe, Audemars Piguet, is David SW. David SW. David SW. David SW.com. That's right, guys. I have been looking for a contact who I can very nicely refer people to. I am not in the selling business. Customer service. I'm too old to sell watches. I'm too old. I like to recommend my viewers to a reliable source. In Australia, I've got some great sources. There's uh, Sydney Watch Exchange with Cove, Ronnie at Vintage Watch Co, Shani, Shani at European Watch Gallery. And in America, who is the best source for pre-owned Rolex? For all the hot models, there's only one person I would recommend, David SW. David SW, David SW. That is the premier source for pre-owned Rolex. I got to be completely frank and honest with you. Guys, if you are looking for a hot Rolex model, there is only one place you can go to. David SW. David SW. David SW. Let's be honest, guys. There's no point schmoozing, schmoozing, schmoozing the dealers, the ADs. They're just a waste of time. Unless you're going to buy 20 pieces, you are wasting your time. What you're better off to do is pay the market premium and go to a good, good pre-owned dealer. Who do I recommend? David SW. David SW. David SW. That's correct, guys. I want to tell you this now. I 100% stand behind David SW. David SW, the greatest pre-owned dealer in the entire United States of America. That's right. The greatest pre-owned dealer for Rolex, for Patek Philippe, for Audemars Piguet, David SW. He even does things like FP Jean. David SW, David SW, David SW. That's right. If you want to buy a pre-owned Rolex, a Patek Philippe, Audemars Piguet, there's only one Good source, I would recommend David SW, David SW, David SW. I'm Paul Pluter, the method actor who plays Archibald Chesterfield III, and I'm proud to recommend David SW. See you later. Thank you for watching this channel. <laughs>
Talk at all.